How are you guys doing? Today is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an elite individual profile on Joao Felix. The elite Portuguese forward for Atletico Madrid turns 22 today, and my intention with this episode is, of course, to shine light on his accomplishments and his accolades and his achievements from the moment that he set foot on the pitch to where he is now. Of course, I'd make my spiel about how many soccer players there are in the world and considering how he is, he is just turning 22 and he has a profile of himself. I imagine that one day he will become a worldwide a household name. I imagine in a lot of cities in Europe, he's definitely a household name. But Either by the end of this year or by the end of next year, this kid is going to blow up and become one of the best soccer players that you know. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with how he plays, he's about five foot eleven. He plays attacking midfielder. He's a, he's a forward as well. He's a very good dribbler. Of course, his vision is going to get better with time as he is getting older and he is getting tougher. But the thing is that he is a yeah, he's just a very young and a very promising player. And I think that once he comes into his own and once he actually gains a lot of the confidence that it's kind of necessary for him to make that leap, he is definitely he definitely has the tools and the wherewithal and the knowledge to really put it all together and be a really phenomenal player. I mean, he is a very phenomenal player right now. So just to give a little bit of background, he's, a, he's originally from VCO, uh, Portugal. He does play for the Portuguese national team. He would get promoted to the actual national team itself uh, in 2019 after Portugal would get eliminated in the round of 16 in the 2018 World Cup. Um, but regardless, he would find himself on the Benfica youth organization when he was a teenager, when he was about 15. Um, then he would find himself getting promoted to the actual Benfica team in his age 18 season in 2018-2019 season. In his lone season in Benfica as a teenager, he would start 21 of the 26, se- 26 games. Uh, in a season in which Benfica would go on to take the Portuguese title for the first or for the fifth time in a six year span. Um, But of course, they were able to win that trophy. That was the only trophy they were able to win that season. Um, However, within the season itself, he was able to add 15 goals and seven assists himself. And while they were competing in Europa League, you would add three goals and a, a and an assist as you wouldn't really contribute any in their Champions League matchups as they got pummeled, essentially. Following that title season for Benfica, Joao Felix would get the nod, get called up for the Portuguese national team in 2019 for the semifinals of the UEFA Nations League uh, semifinals. In their very first matchup, they would face off against Switzerland and Ronaldo's hat trick would put them through three to one. Once they made it to the finals, they would have to face off against Netherlands and the lone goal from Guedes would give uh, Portugal what they needed to win the Nation League final trophy um, as he was able to make a an appearance in the first matchup but he wasn't able to he didn't appear in the final as of course he was very young but of course making that very initial appearance for portugal that young was a very promising sign for what for what was to become following that summer he would eventually start playing at Atletico Madrid, the club he plays at now. In his age 19 season, he would start 21 of the 27 matchups he would play in a season in which Atletico Madrid would finish up with the third best record in La Liga. Uh, They would also finish as the runners-up in the Supercopa de España. Halfway through the season, though, in 2019, Joao Felix would win the Golden Boy Award, which is given to the best young soccer player under the age of 21. One, I believe, um, especially after the amazing performance that he put together. And at least by then, he was 20 when he won the award. Uh, but to finish off his Atletico Madrid season and the 27 matchups he played within La Liga itself, he would finish with six goals and an assist.
Uh, in the six Champions League matchups he played, he would finish with three goals. And this would be a season in which they would end up losing in the round of 16 in the Champions League. Or, in, 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 or they would end up losing in the quarterfinals of Champions League this season. Uh, that year, they would end up losing to RB Leipzig before RB Leipzig lost to PSG. Before PSG went on to lose to Bayern. That was how the... Uh, the season ended for him following the 2019-2020 season, which was, of course, impacted by COVID and for, to, to the point where it pushed the season to the end and pushed the uh, Euros to the next year. It would lead directly into Joao Felix's age 20 season uh, in 2020-2021, the most recent full season that he's completed. Uh, this most recent year, this most recent season with the reigning La Liga champs or with the La Liga champs Atletico Madrid, he would start 14 of the 31 matches he played. In the La Liga matchups, he finished with seven goals and five assists, especially within the La Liga season itself. In, champ in a Champions League season in which Atletico Madrid would see themselves knocked out in the round of 16, Joao Felix would add three goals in the eight matchups he played in. He only played in one Copa del Rey matchup as well, but not much going from there. Um, but in the 2020-2021 season, he was able to help Atletico Madrid seize the La Liga title, which had seemed out of their grasp the first time they had won it since 2014. Uh, and they've only won it twice in the 21st century. So that was a very big title, and Joao Felix was very instrumental in them doing so. And even right now, um, Atletico Madrid sit as the reigning La Liga champs as they are currently on their current quest to try to... Uh, win the La Liga right now and in about the five matchups that he's played Joao Felix uh, has added a goal this season as he is of course working his way uh, back into the lineup as Atletico Madrid is moving and adjusting to this upcoming season and even where they're currently situated in the Champions League, uh, they things aren't necessarily looking favorable for them. Um, but of course, hope is always alive for them as long as Joao, because as long as Joao Felix is getting better and better, that's what I'm. That's my philosophy. That's how. That's the perspective that I'm taking on this. Um, I think that he's a very promising young player that's shown flashes of brilliance. And I think that once the average soccer player is around his age, I think that that's when Joao Felix will be dominating the global stage. But I think for his age, what he's doing right now is very elite. With that said, I want to thank the Pro Football Reference websites and footy stats. And I want to thank the Wikipedia articles and the La Liga and, um, of course, everyone i want to thank everyone for listening to all eight minutes of this piece uh, if you ever get a chance to watch joao felix he is currently wearing number seven for atletico madrid and he is definitely not wearing number seven for portugal um but he is playing for the portuguese national team well, um and i imagine that as his career continues on these profiles will get longer and longer as time goes on but i guess that's the goal as this as this show goes on as well Thanks for listening to this piece. I hope all is well. And I'll catch you with another episode tomorrow once all of today's uh, matchups and exhibitions are done. Until then, thanks for listening to this piece. I hope all is well. And I'll catch you with another episode tomorrow. Peace out.